You may know Ursula K. Le Guin as the author of one of the most famous short stories in the utopian canon, and that, of course, is The Ones Who Walk Away from Omoas. Her novel, The Dispossessed, published in 1974, is also very much studied in the utopian field. It's a story about a planet and its moon. The planet Eurus is like our own Earth. It's a very watery planet and it's very green with many areas of forest and uh, is very fertile. Anaris, the moon, on the other hand, is very desert-like. The air is thin and the growing conditions are not, are not good. The political systems on the two planets are also very different. Eurus is a capitalist system for the most part with a huge wealth gap between those at the top of the economic pyramid and the vast majority at the bottom. Anaris, the moon, is a cooperative anarchist uh, planet and uh, people own all of the goods in common as in many uh, utopian stories. The uh, planet Eurus is challenged and threatened by a revolutionary movement of people who want to redistribute the wealth to make it more fair. Anaris, on the other hand, although it, it is a place where people believe in sharing the wealth, is nevertheless falling away from its foundational principles as people begin to try to accumulate power and to accumulate property. So both, both planets are challenged in different ways. The main character in the novel is Shevik. He's a physicist who is searching for a unified field theory, a way of trying to reconcile two different ideas uh, sequency and simultaneity, the idea that things as we experience them happen in a sequence and yet at the same time everything is happening at once. Uh, it is a, an expression of, um, of the ancient philosophical idea of becoming or sequency and being or simultaneity. In any case, Shevik is invited to Euros for his scientific work, and he undertakes to do something much larger than that. He undertakes to reconcile the two planets, to try to bring peace between them, and as he puts it, to unbuild walls. This novel is rich in ideas, ideas about politics and political systems, ideas about education. At one point, uh, Shevik, for example, uh, becomes a professor on Eurus and deals with students who have been uh, brought up completely differently from those on Anaris. It's rich in ideas about art and science and their place within the community. It has a lot to say about gender and about questions of sexual identity. Le Guin is a wonderful novelist, so her ideas are not simply written as um, polemics, but they are embodied within characters and within settings. For example, one of my favorite passages has to do with uh, a statue of Odo on a park bench in the capital city of Anaris. Odo was one of the great founding figures of the revolutionary society of Anaris. Uh, she was a, a, a cooperative anarchist who wrote a book called The Social Organism. But the statue of her is constructed sitting on an ordinary park bench and Shevik at, at this one point in the novel comes and sits down beside her. So it's a very concrete and, and homey symbol of the equality of persons in Anaris, and it's a challenge to both political systems in the novel. Uh, Eurus, which is is um, not a believer in in equality, 
and Anaris, which is falling away from its original belief in equality. Thank you.